Hey everyone, Sakura Yasin here, and welcome to another episode of Pointy Chins, where I take you through my art journey. So, continuing where we left off, here are some more caricatured figures. This one may or may not be sort of, sort of inspired by me. Uh, okay. All right. So, you know, things are pretty pushed here. Um, I'm getting more comfortable with pushing things, and so that's good, I guess. It's still not super confident, but more so. And then here what I was doing is, I don't know why, I just decided I felt like doing some fake logo design. So I made up some company called ML Motherland and FM and SHI and stuff just just stupid, whatever. It doesn't mean anything. It's just so I have letters to work with. And then I was trying to think of, um, yeah, how would I arrange these? And figuring that it could help somehow in terms of an understanding of art in general to be better with graphic design because it involves shapes and it involves um, proportions and negative space and positive space, all which are very important. Um, I like this S one. I think that's kind of working. I think that could be a logo for something. Um, some of the rest are like, some are okay. And some are awful. Like this one's awful, not quite working. Um, yeah, most of them don't work, but at least there's one that seems okay. Um, and then just faces. But also thinking about that graphic thing, like, oh, if this was a face, but it was also a logo, what would it look like? Um, so that was just because I wanted to do something different. And then here, I started, um, you know, moving into more of a bean-like, uh, squishy, animation-y uh, type of flow and gesture. Very, very curvy and open. I was like, yeah, it's okay. It's not bad doesn't feel too bad doing that. Um, and then here, you know, pushing the face a lot, making sure the characters don't look the same. And I'm realizing more and more that's something that's important to me. Because um, for the longest time I was looking at uh, manga stuff and not being able to do it well. Uh, like I could do it okay, but um, not great. And so it was something where it's like, oh, I wish I could do that. That looks really cool. Uh, and I still think it does, you know, like pretty much you go on Pixiv and the best artists there still really impress me. Um, but more now I'm thinking about what is important to me and what is it that I want to show. And a lot of that has to do with character and personality and not having everyone look the same. So, yeah going for that, pushing things more. Um, I still like certain things like the bigger head, the larger eyes, uh, the skinnier body, the big forearms and hands and stuff. It's still something that's appealing to me, so I stick with that. But in terms of trying to be too much like anyone else, I'm not really doing that anymore or trying to be like any one style. I mean, it's not like I was really trying to do that ever, but more, more so. Um, and then here it's figure drawing. Uh, again, trying to push it though, never being satisfied with just drawing what I see because I feel like if I just draw what I see, um, I, I, I just feel like a photocopier and doesn't feel fun. And here, more crazy faces, um, push things. I'm seeing a lot of similar faces appear like this one. And uh, well, this one's kind of popping up a lot. Uh, I've got more facial hair in my characters here with a mustache. And here, just finding, yeah, it's cool to have those kinds of uh, variations here. I wanted to have some kind of gesture, but it miserably failed. Um, this one's kind of inspired by uh, Alphonse Elric. And then 
here it's a case of like how big do I make the heads? How how crazy should I push things? And allowing things to be not really successful, but just like just play anyway. Just try. It doesn't need to be. Oh, that actually looks good. It just has to be. Well, you tried. You wanted to see if something works, and then it does or it doesn't. And here, what I did is I started with um, just some. Just drew a bunch of random abstract shapes. Um, I mean, they sort of could house faces, but they weren't really face or head shapes. Especially with like this one, you can see how it's not really a what you would consider a shape for a head. But then I did the in internal aspect and try and turn it into a head. And I thought it was kind of cool because you get surprising things like this character. I, I probably wouldn't have just made them up if I started with a circle for the face, like a typical oval with the crosshairs. Um, and same for, I mean, pretty much all of them, but especially like this one and this one. These are the three I like the most. This one, this one, this one. Because I feel like they've got character. I feel like I've, I've seen a guy who looks like this um, when I was in school. Um, this one feels like, yeah, it's a person and... Uh, but it's not a typical, like, oh yeah, that's just a, just a pretty girl, which is what I see a lot of these days is just, oh, it's a pretty girl or something, but not a character in themselves. Mm. But I do those like generic pretty girls or strong guys as well. So it's not like I'm immune to it. It's just something I want to get out of doing um, more. Uh, so here what I did is I was trying to think of big shapes, like big basic shapes. And then, um, so I did these bigger ones first, I call it these larger figures. And then beside them, I did a, I guess like a critique, like what would I have done differently uh, if I was to redraw them? So this one, it's like, well, yeah, maybe make the shape more like this. Uh, rather than this, it almost feels like a bowling pin here. Um, I like this character, it's actually quite nice. And then this one, you know, it's like make it wider and then more like two sticks as opposed to this, I don't know, drumstick type shape. This one, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Um, just <laughs> messed up with the lines and then I turned them into big pants um, just because it's pen and you can't really <laughs> erase so it's like okay uh let's just run with it and this one this girl you know kind of not quite working but this one came out a bit generic when i tried my correction this guy didn't get a correction and this one got a very long pushed uh face and, and then this one i think probably came out better and then I like this girl as well it's a very nice s curve it's subtle but it's strong and I like how the hair sort of frames it and if you got a silhouette of this it probably wouldn't look that interesting but the internal but it's very simple and then the internal forms are quite appealing I think um, so yeah it's similar to the other exercise where you make shapes and then you build something out of those shapes um, so first I was doing the faces and then the bodies and I probably should do more of that because it was a, it's good. You get interesting ideas. Mm. On this page, I did some of that as well. Um, you can see some of it with this being basically a rectangle shape, um, but it's, and, and this being like a triangle, you can see the triangle there. Um, but here it's super obvious where it's just like a square-ish shape and then you build a face out of it. But it seems pretty strong. And um, I think that's good. I think it's working where you, start, you create a shape and then that shape itself has its own feeling to it. Like a square is very sturdy and strong and a circle is more soft and a triangle is more edgy. And, cool i guess um i like this one with the push proportions and i mean they all have push pushed proportions of course um 
But here, I was thinking of a neck, a super long neck. It, didn't, it looks more like a creature than a person now, but um, so that wasn't exactly a success, but whatever, you know. Um, here I'm focusing a lot on this one anyway with uh, capturing attitude or a feeling and less uh, nice finished picture. Um, and then here, I'm actually, I think during this time I was getting pretty depressed. Um, I was uh, at home at my parents' house anyway, waiting to move into a new home. And so uh, that wasn't the best for me. Um, and so some of this comes through. You can see it's just like, I didn't really have the energy to draw anymore. Um, but I had to do drawings because I do a drawing every day regardless. So some of them were just, you know, like this, just pained, pained expressions. Um, but sometimes you get interesting things from, from that too. You know, a lot of times actually. Uh, sure, like these ones aren't good. I, I would say this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. But uh, as I scroll down, it's like, yeah, this one's kind of interesting. This one and this one. And these are all pretty interesting. So um, I would say, you know, sometimes you might not feel like drawing, but uh, you may be pleasantly surprised by the results, even if you don't have fun doing it at the time. And maybe not right away, but maybe a few months later, you might look back and, oh yeah, it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, you know, facial hair things. Um, another self-portrait-ish thing. Uh, I don't know why it's fun to make fun of myself in portraits. Uh, some skinny lady, but I think this kind of works as a character. Um, so here's like a K version-ish. And uh, there's a lot more little things, like little characters like this guy. Who's like, yeah, that's kind of cool, you know? That's nice, and this <laughs> Bob-esque guy, and uh, even this is kind of nice, because it's very boxy, because I'm trying to think of perspective, but I tried not to make it too regular, and I think even just a subtle thing can make a pretty big difference. Um, and then here, I don't know how many there are, and I'm too lazy to count, but there's a lot of crickets here. Um, so crickets are, uh, Flavia made up the term for just small thumbnail uh, drawings that I would do uh, for figures because to her they look like crickets. So here we go. Just a bunch of, a bunch of crit crickets and I had to shade them in just so they'd stand out because before it looked like a mess, it was hard to see. Like at this stage, without them all colored in, uh, it got pretty can, pretty hard on the eyes. Um, but yeah, just trying different poses, different proportions. You know, this guy's pretty much a ball. Um, yeah, a stronger character, a <laughs> weird character wearing a party hat. Um, I tried to get the cross for the face, but I didn't want to add too much detail. And that was on purpose so that I would draw more so that I wouldn't get stuck trying to detail one like a lot. And then um, like this one, it's kind of cool. And this one as well, it's a bit different how this one has this uh, upside down U shape with a line. And then this one has sort of the opposite Yeah, I don't know, guys with hats, uh, kids, tall, skinny people, some <laughs> fox thing, and yeah, pushed characters made them really wide, and this kind of reminds me of the mushroom cloud after an atomic bomb. Um, so yeah, it was good. I think. I think this one. I think in a short time, by doing the, these types of things, you get tons of mileage. Uh, just because you're 
feeding your brain a lot of possibilities of what could be, what could work. And then it can use that information, like subconsciously you have that of, oh, that's a trial, that's a trial, that's a trial, that's a trial. And then in the future, um, you can utilize that. So I found immediately after doing that, I mean, the next day, um, it felt easier drawing, just things came quicker. Um, there's more appeal, I feel. And uh, maybe I lost it at this point, but still, it's, like, it's not so hard. I like this one, this version of K. And more, more characters. I drew this guy and then I wanted to put him in action poses, doing things. Um, some goblin type character. I found I, I draw this type of character a lot as well, this super long nose and stretched face. Uh, and it's like a recurring theme. So before I would almost try not to do that because it feels like, oh, I'm just drawing something easy again. But now I figure it's like, if you're drawing the same thing over and over again, it must have some significance, whether you acknowledge it or not. So it's probably important to allow yourself to do that thing. Um, even if it feels repetitious, because chances are there's something behind it. And by doing it over and over again, you might f just find that thing that you're looking for. Um, and for me, being uh, someone who dissociates a lot, uh, my thought process is very fragmented. So it's important for me not to dismiss parts because that's what I want to do. Uh, I'll have a thought like, oh, I'm drawing this, it must mean, you know, like I'll look at this and just think, oh, it's just a character straight up and down and they're not doing anything and um, that's stupid or uh, just put a lot of judgments instead of just drawing and allowing it to be and then moving on. But that's something I'm trying to work on. But I do like, you know, the expression and this guy. <laughs> um, I tried making my eyes smaller because I found I kind of liked that before not having the big eyes but it was kind of fighting this sense of oh but I like anime and I like big eyes and I want to draw eyes that are big because that's what I like right but sort of parts of me were like yeah but I, I, I prefer how it looks when it's smaller and then just going with that instead of um Instead of going towards things that require a lot of explanations, I try to just, or I'm trying to do things that are much more simple in, time, in terms of thought process. So it's just, just do it just cause. It doesn't have to be, oh, but I like this, therefore. It's just, I like this, and that's why I'm gonna draw it this way. Mm. Sorry for harping on about this. It must be very annoying. Um, some girls, I like this. This type of proportion, it's kind of different. Um, a very, very stretched figure, probably too much. Probably way too too stretched. Because um, it's not quite working, it feels like this would snap. Um, whereas this one, it's equally stretched. I mean, not equally, but it's still super stretched and super unrealistic, but it kind of works. So, I'm trying to find that... Um, that area where, yes, it can be broken, but it still works, uh, as opposed to it looks wrong. And drawing more of these characters. And so much, I think, is just drawing things that, you know, you take it too far, and then you try again. You take it too far, and each time you sort of learn what's, what's possible, what works, what doesn't work. Um, so... This thing, pushing the lower lip out and tried to make the same character, but in a different pose. It doesn't really have a strong likeness, so that's a pretty big fail. Um, that K is okay. Here I was thinking more along the lines of, instead of drawing K as I draw her based on her, on the way I've drawn her before, I try and think of what are her characteristics and it's like, oh, she has an upturned nose and she has a pretty rounded forehead and, and a small mouth that's got this V-type shape to it. 
uh, to her lips. And it's like, okay, so focus on that more than I draw her like this because that's how I draw her. And I found that when I did that, it sort of opened uh, doors in terms of how she could be. Um, and if you focus on characteristics, it becomes much less about style and more about... It could be any style and you could still explain it. Like you could say in, in this uh, example, for instance, oh, someone has, has a big pointy nose and very small... Uh, eyes with the uh, white part black and the pupils white and stuff and it's still it doesn't matter what version what style whether it's a cartoon or realistic it'll still look like that character if you just label characteristics um so that was something important it's to subordinate the um style to the character but still have the character in a style just it doesn't matter which style and yeah more drawings muscly dudes and this one's a pretty big fail but whatever and i'm finding with characters like these um just how much it helps like i i mentioned it a few times already but with the facial hair thing it's like wow it really changes a character um but it makes sense because you see, uh, or you may have seen these shows where it's very, um, like they take a, a person who's homeless or something and they make them over, they give them a haircut and at first they look all disheveled and then after this makeover thing, uh, they look like, oh, they look like they could be a businessman or whatever. And it's like, well, it's the same person, it's the same everything, it's just... Um, cut differently and you know you have a different hairstyle and stuff and here what I was doing is I have this way of drawing K where I sort of draw this cheek and eye and this area this line that encompasses the the how would you call this the eye ridge or the socket and then the cheek and then it's very straight anyway and then see here it's pretty straight usually and I did this thing where I tried pushing it outwards because I was thinking about, again, that characteristic thing. Like, okay, so she has a pretty pointy nose and it's sort of upturned and she has this V um, expression, uh, not expression, sorry, lips. Um, a pretty uh, low forehead, I suppose, with a receding hairline or if it's a bigger uh, forehead, her hairline's pretty high up anyway. Let's just put it that way. Uh, thin eyebrows that are pointy-ish and they get a bit thicker and then they get thinner and then uh yeah so then doing that and and with pretty uh i guess kind of big cheeks so i tried these different shapes and it's like oh that's kind of interesting it kind of works felt a little bit disney like um but still like oh that's something at least so i thought i'd explore that a bit more um so yeah, so here I did one with a typical, more subtle one, and then this one with pu the push cheeks, the bigger nose, um, and it's like, oh, okay, there's more that can be done. Uh, doesn't mean I'll stick with it, doesn't mean it's got to be that way, but I think it did uh, expand things, and it made uh, the character look a bit more unique, I suppose, not sure. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, because I think it also lost some of the character. Um, <laughs> this is an awful cat. Uh, <laughs> this is more of a self portrait -y thing again, with a cat that's knocking over the dustpan with all the dust, because that's what cats do. And... Moving on. Trying to do um, character from Affinity Xeon, but different takes on him, you know, playing around with the face and what could be done with it. Uh, not really being satisfied with what it is, but thinking about what could it be and uh, yeah, more affinity characters and I don't know, just seeing, you know, what can I do with the face? How much can I push it? How much can I caricature and what stays the same and what's similar throughout the different iterations and what's um, 
what's their character? You know, what characteristics gives me the look that I'm looking for? Um, and yeah, you know, more more of the same uh, affinity stuff. Redoing uh, row a little bit uh, with the same thing in mind with the characteristics, and I kind of like it. Um, you know, it still needs work for sure, um, but we're getting there. Uh, next month, it's going to be more of the confidence coming in. And, uh, I mean, the, the direction I feel now is pretty solid. It's just a matter of becoming more confident and then expanding to different things. So I hope you stick around and thanks for watching.